Y'all are called a flat tire, of course. Oh my God, y'all. It's freaking hailing, like, oh my God. What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my God, I am in a great mood, as you can tell from my loud ass voice. But I want to bring you guys along with me today. It is a beautiful Friday. I am off work today, so I'm just gonna be doing some traveling around Houston, showing you guys what I get into today. And I decided to vlog because I was like, why not? Hold for technical difficulties. You know this goddamn tripod, be tripod. Anyways, like I was saying before my tripod rudely interrupted me, I am going to go to Five Below real quick to pick up some like um, soap holders and little essentials that I need for my bathroom and stuff like that. And then I'm probably going to head to the mall just to do a little shopping, window shopping, whatever I feel like doing. And then what else did I say I was going to? I don't know. But yeah, I just want to bring you guys along with me because I like vlogging now. So it's pretty cool. Um, I've been doing some self tapes, so fingers crossed for that. Updates on that pretty soon, hopefully, if I get the part. But, um, yeah, I got some things in the works, things in the play. But right now, we just finna get into this day. Hello, somebody. Because I'm not finna stay in this house, and that was really the main point of me vlogging, because I'm like, girl, I gotta get outside. Okay, so, I'm finna leave. I only got two destinations right now so we'll see what else the day brings i've already gotten dressed maybe i can give you all a little quick pick pick trying to turn off all these lights though because i don't need to run up my electricity bill for no reason for nobody okay and if y'all don't brush out here after y'all take y'all do rag off please start doing it because we can tell Especially in that bag, girl. I know y'all be able to tell because I don't be wearing no hats and stuff. But that's really why I want to get out because I'm like, I don't want to get a haircut immediately right now because I'm still trying to let my edge up grow back because we're not going to talk about it. But I went to Fort Worth and I got a haircut from some random person in like Arlington or something like that because I didn't feel like waiting, y'all. And I had just left Houston. And I was going out there to see family, and I was like, I need to look fresh. So I got a haircut, and he fucked my edge up up. So now I have to let it grow back out. But that's okay, because I got some good ass hair, so it don't even matter. I'm about to leave now and head to Five Below, so I can give me some things for my house and stuff like that. And then I'm going to head to the mall and see what I can find in there. So thank you guys for coming along with me. Please consider to like comment and subscribe for more authentic and ex exclusive content so let's get into the day baby h-town going down if you've never been to h-town come along with me so you can see what it's like let's go <laughs> y'all oh my god i just went in five below and shopped like i had no business because y'all they had so many new glasses and i just had to pick them up i literally got like four or five different pairs of glasses just just glasses alone like oh my god i was so excited but um yeah i'm already done shopping in five below i just got me some glasses a little soap dispenser for my restroom and some sour gummies and a little shirt so i'm gonna try to go find a hat at the mother freaking what's the name i'm gonna go try to find a hat maybe but First, I'm going to stop at the bank, drop this check off. Oh, okay. And then we'll figure out the rest later. But, yeah, I just want to update y'all. All these glasses, y'all. Like, literally, I got so many different glasses. Like, oh, I'm so excited. And we didn't even have them. Like, if y'all don't know, I work at Five Below. So, we didn't even have all of these options. Like, they just put these out this week. So, I was like, perfect timing, okay. But, yeah, um... I just got done with that and five below. So that was cute or whatever. And I got me a little shirt too. I was like, maybe I'll go out today. Maybe I'll step out somewhere. And if I do, I got me a shirt. So it's a little heartbreaker, but I'll show y'all when I get home. But right now, if I go drop this check off at the bank, okay, baby? And then we'll get into some other things later. See y'all soon, okay? Bye. 
Okay, boom. So I'm back, right? First of all, turn this. Okay, so boom. I'm back. I just came home from a little time out shopping and doing whatever I was doing. But I was going to do some other stuff and then it just got very gloomy, dark. It looks like it's going to rain down. And if you know Houston, girl, I don't need to be nowhere in the streets when it starts raining because you never know if it's going to flood, do too much. And I don't like driving in the rain, girl. I don't like it. So I was like, let me go and come home and call it a day, girl. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. But before we end out of here, let me show y'all what I got from Five Below, all these sunglasses and stuff because... I just love me some accessories, okay? So let me show y'all. First up, I'm going to start with the basic stuff. I got me some gummy bears because... I mean, not gummy bears. What are these? Um, gummy worms. Sour gummy worms. Because I love some gummy worms. And I usually don't get the sour kind. I get the regular kind. But the regular kind we had at our store were all melted. And I wasn't going to do that. So I got these. These little sour worms. I'm going to be... When I get the munchies, girl, you know, when you get the munchies, girl, you got to have you a munchie snack. Okay, and then I got, oh, I forgot I got, I got this shirt. Real cute club heartbreak. I was like, ooh, I want to go to the club tonight. And then, of course, boom, it start raining. So that's a little shirt, say club heartbreak. I can wear that whenever I feel like it. That's cute or whatever. And then I got me a soap dispenser for my bathroom and a plain case which I need to put on my phone right now and you know how when you get a new case it just make your phone feel new like yes I had to give me a new case but that's all on the first bag okay now this right here this is the bag girl I got to I got to hang these up right here so I can show y'all okay one by one, okay? No no particular order. I just picked up a whole bunch of sunglasses. I was like, I like them, like them, like them, like them, and I got them all. So these are the first pair. I actually had a pair of glasses like this, but I lost them, of course. So, boom, get it. Boom! Ah! <laughs> I love me a pair of glasses, honey. It just turns you into a whole different character, okay? Let me uh scoop this back so I can see a little more. Okay, boom, okay? Cute. These are just these are just literally too freaking cute. Okay, so yeah, it gives a nice tint when you're looking out into the world. Everything is very tinted. And then you got this this bottom little piece where you can you know you can see a little clearer at the bottom. So, boom, those are cute. Now those are really cute. Those are just really freaking cute. So that's the first pair. Let me show you the second ones. Okay, now these. These your stunners, you know what I'm saying? These your, these your, I'm in a club with my niggas, I'm bobbing, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all looking in my eyes, but you can tell I'm getting down on the floor. Ah! Yeah, okay, so this them pair, they got little studs in them, as you can see. A few studs. And then, let's keep going, because I got a lot. I got these, and these have a little blue tint on them. Let me pop this off. Let me cut this. Okay, so these have a little blue tint as you can see I mean you can't really tell by looking at them but when you look at them they have like this blue like iridescent like tint or whatever it's called so boom those are like that those give you a little more edge a little boom boom editorial look boom 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 okay those are those those are cute I really just got these because I have on blue pants and I was like, ooh, these were kind of like the first pair I see. And then, my last two favorites are your basic stunners, you know. These are the, um, I don't know what to call them. The blockers, okay. Because these are like the square version of, I think, like the first pair I, I showed you. Or something like that. It don't matter. Either way. I love these because they're basic. I can wear these with literally any outfit. So, Love these. You always need a basic pair of like stunner shades, blockers, whatever they call them. Do they call them blockers? Blockers. Yeah. So those are those. That. Turn this back over here. Broke be nose. So yeah, those are those. And then my last pair are just like this, but they got a little tint on them. Okay, get it. 
Cause these are really cute. And then these got the little orange tint, so I was like, oh, oh yes, baby. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, those are all the pairs. So one, two, three, four, five. I got five pair of glasses. Why do I need five pair of glasses when the summer is over? I don't know, but I needed them, okay? I needed to have them, because I love a good accessory. Like, I love a good accessory. So yes, that's that on that. Um, And yeah, that's all I got in five below, so. But that's all for my vlog today. I'm gonna keep it short and keep it simple because the last one was a little longer and we don't need a 40, another 48 minute vlog. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, but thank you guys for watching once again. Boom, sorry, before I go, I totally forgot to share with y'all that my first credited movie role, <laughs> whatever have you, is out now. You guys, please go check out the movie Bissonette on Tubi. You can see me acting in a few background scenes. It's, like I said, it's my first uh, credited role, and so I'm really excited about that. Um, I had a great time on set, really uh, connecting with people, connecting with different individuals, and telling them about my story, about why I was so excited to do, like, drug scenes, and, like, you know, it was really um, explicit content. However, because of who I am and where I come from, it matters so much to me that I represent characters that show that side of life because that's a side of life that I saw every day growing up where I'm from. So yeah, um, and then my mama called me the next day. She was like, boy, if you, if you ever do a role where you're doing drugs, you need to call me so I can show you how to make it look real, <laughs> which was hilarious. And so that just reminds me about why I do the work. And so, yeah, y'all go check out the movie Bissonette on Tubi. Shout out to all the actors that were in that film. It's a really great production. You guys check it out. Let me know what you think. Like I said, my first role of background roles, background camera work and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to drop that in there. So, yeah, see y'all next time. But go check out my um, role in Tubi or whatever. So, yeah, check out Bissonette. See y'all later. Okay, this is the official end of the vlog. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Welcome to another day, another dollar, another day of inspiration. What's up? It's your boy Brandon back again with another video. Um, I'm probably just going to continue to vlog off from last time, so don't even worry about that. And as you can tell, I am dressed and ready for the day. So, I'm about to go ahead to once again because I, I, I am going through and I need to go see my doctor, okay? Doctor love. Doctor feel good, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to go out tonight to um an open mic. So, hopefully, I can take you all with me so you can see what the vibes are like at the open mic. It do be hella dark in there, though. That's the only thing I don't like. And like that one vlog I did when I first started vlogging about two years ago when I went to the old Taste Bar and Kitchen because they have since moved and changed and did all kinds of stuff. But um, their lighting in there, like when I was on stage, I was like all blue. And I don't like that. Like I like it on stage, like when you're performing, it's the vibe. But then like when you're looking back at footage or you want to share, your work or something like that, it's not really marketable material because you're just in unflattering lighting. And me being a freaking theater major and, um, you know, lighting designer, I had to do lighting design in school and all kinds of stuff. That's not the tea, whatever. So hopefully I can bring you all along with me and chill and vibe. So yeah. Just want to bring you guys along with me so you can know what it's like in these Houston streets, girl, what I be getting myself into because I be doing something literally like, it's something to do every day of the week. Not that I do it every day of the week, but there is something out here to do every day of the week that I like doing. Let me put it like that. There's stuff out here that I like doing every day of the week. And there's a real um, sense of community when it comes to like performing and getting out there and doing open mics and stuff like that. You kind of see a lot of the similar people at different venues and different events and stuff like that. So that's what I like about it being out here. Like, I don't get that when I go to DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth or whatever. So I love Houston for those reasons specifically. But yeah, I really was just coming on here to show y'all my fit. 
I don't know what's in that background. So this is the fit check, pick check. Don't mind all the messiness behind me because this is my workstation, my work area. So I do all my editing and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm finna head to the gym. Give me some food. I'll see y'all when I get back and we're going out tonight. So let's go. What time is it? It's only 2.49, it's not even three o'clock. And I'm not going out till like 11 o'clock. So that's like eight hours of a day. Yeah. Ooh, child. Baby, a time was had tonight, okay? Don't worry about this thing lying on my forehead for my do rag. But a time was had tonight, okay? I'm just not getting home. Y'all, baby, they was throwing shots after shots after shots. It was so much. I ended up at a pool party. I went to the park. I went to the open mic. It was a lot. And I didn't bring my camera for none of it. But it was all a great time. And I had so much fun. Like, And I think I'm going to be going out again with some friends that I met tonight. So I might be going out later this week as well. So I'm going to just make this one long vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to come out here and let y'all know what I did today. It was fun. And I loved my outfit with my little do-rag on or whatever. So I'm going to insert some clips so y'all can see what it was like at the open mic. I didn't get on the mic because I just wasn't feeling it after all them shots and stuff like that, girl. I was like, look, honey, I'm chilling. I'm vibing. I don't need it. I don't need to perform for real. I just wasn't feeling it for real. But yeah, I had fun tonight. So shout out to the, my new friends that I made. And yeah, so I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. As you can see, I'm toe up a little bit, just a little bit. 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 But okay, y'all. Just want to come on here, lay y'all up. I think in the shower. This is all I got for y'all today, okay? So, see y'all in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Now, bye. What's up, beautiful people? It's another lovely day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> this is how I wake up on a daily, okay? Just excited about life. As you can see, your boy's hair looks a mess, right? Not too much though. Cause I'm finna go get a haircut, okay? Let me turn these lights on so it's a little better, easier to see. What's up, beautiful people? It's another lovely day. As you can see, I look a mess, but it's okay because I'm kind of going to get a haircut. It's a lovely Friday. And like I said, I'm just going to make this a week-long vlog or whatever. However many days you see is how many days I vlogged, okay? So I'm about to go get a haircut from a barber who I don't know. One thing about me, I'm going to change up my barber, okay? Because last time I went to Fort Worth, somebody messed up my hairline. And it still ain't grow big. But I need a haircut. I can't wait no much longer now. So we gonna see. He either gonna fix it or he gonna make it worse. Okay. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna say, look, somebody fucked up my hairline. Please don't make this any much worse. No, so that's not I'm gonna tell him. Cause look, I need my hair. Shit, now. Nah. Okay. What's up? And I'm back. And as you can see, your boy has a fresh haircut. Woo! Praise the Lord, because I was looking a mess. Once again, don't worry about my desk back there. This is my workstation, so it looks a little crazy because my mind be doing 10 million things at once. But yeah, how y'all like it? Y'all like the haircut? I'm thinking about going out tonight. I've seen an event online, um, a free event at the Museum of, what is it called? The African American Museum? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's a poetry event tonight, so I'm gonna go to that. It's supposed to be a free poetry event, so I'm gonna try to bring you guys along with me. Like I said, being intentional in this season of my life about going out, having fun, being social, really. And, um, oh, I forgot to tell y'all about the other night. So let's get into it, let's get into it, let's get into it. So, what did I have did? I, what did I have did, girl, grandma? Um, so I ended up going out the other night on what was that Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday. Oh, okay. And then I looked on I looked online and saw there was like a little kickback situation happening before like the main function. So I was like, I hit up who hosts 
the function that I was going to later that night, and I was like, oh, where the party? Like, what's good? Hello? <laughs> so, sounds like I have some new plans tonight, okay? <laughs> Think I might have some new plans. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm thinking about, I might wear this shirt tonight that I bought from the other day. Because I, I sit on the counter and never even moved it. This little heart black club shirt. So I think I'm gonna wear this. Can't finish that story time. Anyway, story. Like, I don't give a damn. And y'all know I put a stunning shade on real quick now that I got some. Bitch, I put my stunning shades on. How can I say this? Let me say. I have been lately being interested in like my family history, my family lineage. And um, now things are being revealed later on down the line that I wish I would have known way back then. Like <laughs> a long time ago, I wish I would have known because it just allows me to walk in a confidence that I have knowing that my ancestors and angels are watching over me. You know what I mean? So that's also just an insight. Like if you guys have some, everybody has history. Let's start there. Everybody has history. Everybody has a family. Everybody has some type of family history, whether you were adopted, your parents were crackheads, hello, it's, it don't matter. You got some type of history. And it's just very important to find out what your purpose is. You have to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? You have to know who you are, where you come from, where your people come from, what they've been through to get you to the place you are today. You know what I'm saying? And how it's a direct reflection of who you are today. That just, you know, when I started finding out my ancestors and my lineage were entrepreneurs and, you know, social activists and all these things it allows me to walk in the confidence now being out here in Houston by myself that's just like oh no my people before me did this if they can do it I can do it and they're watching over me covering me protecting me so I know they got my back you know I know I'm not alone it's like that so if you guys don't know about your family history get into it okay please get into it it'll let you know more about who you are as a person okay and yeah you'll learn much more about yourself than you did know. And I'm still learning. It ain't, that, that, that ain't to say that I've learned. Learned as in past tense. No, I'm learning. I'm trying to figure it out. Sorry. I totally forgot to bring my camera with me, but I stepped out as you can see. The fit is giving, the fit is giving, honey. I wish I could show y'all the whole fit. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I didn't bring my camera. Like, that was such a good time. Y'all had such a good freaking time. I want a bracelet. I don't ever win nothing. I want a bracelet. I am so happy. Like, okay. People don't be understanding when I'm tell when I be trying to tell them that Houston arts community is like very tight knit. You have to find the spaces to be in. Tonight I found a very intimate space. It was an open mic. I didn't even first of all I didn't even know it was an open mic. So I'm not even expecting to perform. I was just going to get my look, and it was supposed to be my little pre-play before my play that I may be going to tonight. Anyways, I was just going by to see the talent. I had seen. Uh, one of my friends posted about it, so I was like, let me slide through. I'm not doing nothing tonight, and it's a free event. Why not? And it's poetry. Hello, I love poetry. So, I went through, and it turned out to be an open mic, and I didn't even know. So, I was like, oh, is the list still open? He was like, yeah. Come to find out, I'm like the fourth person on the list. I'm like, oh, Lord. So, now I got to think about what to say. It's very hectic when you're like doing open mics and stuff, but when it's intimate space, that's when I personally flow the best because it's just like... I don't, I don't have to overthink, like it's not that many people here, I don't have to overthink, this is going to be a moment in time and it'll all be over very soon. And usually I'm like good on my toes and like just pulling something down my hat and just like going with it. But tonight I was thinking about, I didn't, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, like even while I was sitting there I knew he was going to call my name and I was sitting there looking at all my poems and I did not know what I wanted to say. As he calls my name to walk up to the mic y'all, the DJ starts playing. Shawty get down, sitting on, it's got a moment all over town. Sitting on, playing around, hell, 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 whatever that song is called. She started playing that song. My spirit, everything in me clicked in that moment because I have a poem that I start off singing 
grandma's hands clapped in church on Sunday morning and that's the sample that's used in the song that remix and so in that moment I was just like okay God I heard you I know what I need to do so I went ahead and did my poem um, it's called how it must feel to be a black woman and I did that poem and I really touched a lot of people in there and I was going off, yeah, I was going off. I performed my little butt off tonight and I just didn't bring my camera, like. I know, God, like all I had to do was bring my freaking camera and record it. And y'all would have been like, oh my God, this boy is amazing. But no, I forgot it. But once again, every time I leave my camera at home, those be the best freaking times. When I forget to record, that be the moments where I be like, dang, man, I really had a good time. And so I don't regret it because it's like I had a good time. I was living in the moment. I was in the present moment. But at the same time, I wasn't able to document. But that's okay, too. You know what I'm saying? So I had a good time. They ended up doing a raffle. And that's the way I won this bracelet. As you can see, let me cover my face. My bracelet that I now have because I don't have any bracelets. So I won that, which was very exciting, because I was just like, oh my God. Today was really a crazy day from the time that I woke up until now. Like, and the night not even over, because I'm still, it's still, the night is still young, okay? I just had to come back home and update the girls, the YouTube girlies, okay? So yeah, I had a good time. I connected with some more people, found some new, you know, acquaintances and stuff like that, connected with them on social media. Hopefully somebody tags me in a video somewhere because when I tell y'all I was going off, I knew I was going off, but when I got off stage, one of them moments happened again where it was like, everybody in the room was just like, shook. And I don't be trying to do that. Like, I don't, like, I just be, I be wanting to pop my shit, don't get me wrong. But I, I don't want to take the attention away from like, the message. I don't want to put the attention on me, like Brandon, the person, like, cause I, Girl, I don't care. I want y'all to hear what the freak I'm saying. Like, do you hear what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you come up to me after my performance and you don't have anything to say about what I said, then I did not accomplish my goal. You know what I'm saying? I did that today and then I just came from this open mic and now I'm thinking about going to like a little hookah lounge or like a little, another little lounge just because I'm in good vibes and good spirits and I don't like to like, just in my night like that <laughs> like I just don't like to lay down on that note like I want to continue this as far as I can throughout the night and then when the night is over then I'll come home right now I just had to come update y'all about what that experience was like for me going to the Houston Museum of African American Culture that was so cool y'all the art exhibits the museums I'm gonna insert some clips so y'all can see those exhibits were so beautiful, very Afrofuturistic. Um, to me, I would say like very cool portraits and paintings and stuff like that. So y'all go check it out. It's in um it's not too far from Third War, so so yeah. Y'all look up Houston Museum of African American Culture. It's a really nice place, a nice building. I don't know what other events they have. I'm sure they have other events, but Y'all yeah, check them out so y'all can figure out what's going on. Because they are having one. I think they said they're having one more this year. And it's next month in October. So I think that's going to be like the last one for this year. Thank y'all. Bye. Ooh, what's up beautiful people? I am. Oh lord. Don't drop the camera. What's up beautiful people? I am currently heading towards Fort Worth because I just got a call my granny having some um, issues with her health so I'm like let me run out there real quick so I'm currently at a rest station I had to pull over and get some um not get some gas but I had to relieve myself okay I had to run to the restroom so now I'm gonna head back on the road but I just wanted to document let y'all know what was going on um yeah, I'm headed to a Fort Worth right now, so I'm like two hours away. Two down, two to go, so halfway there. Um, I'll let y'all know the progress update when I get there. I think my granny is fine, but just want to go check on her, so that's that on that. See y'all later. Bye.
Y'all yeah, are called a flat tire, of course. And it's getting dark. I do not want to be out here with a flat tire and it's dark. I don't know what to do. Hope it's not one thing. It's another. Like, it's always something. I'm just gonna cut this camera off now because it's getting dark. I'm getting scared. It's dark out here. I have a spare tire. I just don't have a fucking jack, bro. And that is pissing me off. Oh, shout out to these people, y'all. These people just helped me put my whole tire on. Oh my God, God is so real. Oh my God. These people just helped me put my entire they helped me put the whole tire on. I didn't have a jack. I was so scared, y'all. Like, I literally just got out the car and started waving people down. And then I put on a, a notification on Waze to let people know that I had a flat tire because I didn't know what to do. Like, I didn't have no money to get these people to come help me from the tow truck and, and the tire shops. So I just like put it on Waze and, and prayed to God, like, Lord, please send somebody my way. So this time I'm just gonna drive a little slower. Oh, I thank God for these people. Like, oh my God, these are some good Samaritans. Texas really has some good people. Like, I don't care what y'all heard, but Texas has some really good people, bro. Because these people, these people really just helped me on the side of the road, did not have to. Okay, I made it to this gas station. I didn't even know I was still recording. Now this is a vlog. This right here is a freaking vlog. If y'all don't like this video, and comment and subscribe to my channel, y'all don't truly love me. Cause I'm on the side of the road for this vlog, okay? Not for the vlog. But I can't tell if this tire is flat. Like I can't tell. This is really stressful. Like, I am really stressed. Like, this is why I don't drive my car. That's why I always ride the bus. I always ride the bus when I go to Fort Worth because this is just too much. Like, I always go through some bullshit trying to drive this fucking car. That's why I just leave it in fucking Houston. Okay, I feel my tire all the way up to 60 PSI because that's what it said on the side of the car that the spare tire is supposed to build up to that much. So I did that. Hopefully, Praise the Lord that I will make it the rest of the way. Lord, keep me safe, Jesus, because I'm in the middle of nowhere. I can't go back now. Ain't no going back. Uh -uh, ain't no going back. Not tonight. Nope. Not tonight. I've already lost the hour. It's 8. I got two hours to go. Hopefully, I can get there by 10. Let's push it. Let's go. Not push it, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm ready to go. Y'all, I'm stressed. Don't judge me. I'm very stressed right now. But God has already delivered me and kept me safe to be the no delivering God I know him to be. And that's why you pray. You pray really hard. You pray. You pray until you, you just pray and you don't cease. You just keep praying until some give, baby, because that's all I know how to do. That's literally all I know how to do is pray. So... God, before I get on this road, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending those good Samaritans to save me, Lord God. Thank you for allowing them to help me with my car, God. Give them ultimate blessings, God. Allow them to be the best week of their life, God. Send them a shower of blessings down into their household, God. You know their needs and their wants, and you can feel them all, God. I ask that you keep me safe for the rest of my journey, oh God. I know I didn't come this far just to turn around. I didn't come this far just to leave, oh God. I'm going to check on my family, going to check on my grandmother, God. And I need you to keep me safe. I need you to keep me out of hurt, harm, and dangerous way, God. Clear the path right now, oh God, as I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. God, because you are my rod, my staff, God, and you comfort me, and you keep me, and you protect me, and you love me, God, and I thank you for it. I thank you in advance. I thank you as it is already so, because you're doing it now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. 
next time. Hopefully, I will be in Fort Worth. Bye. Oh my God, y'all. It's freaking hailing. Like, oh my God. I am so freaking scared. I literally had to pull over because it's raining so hard. I saw somebody pull over and I just pulled over in front of them. And now it's hailing like, oh my God. God I'm so scared like, this is so scary bro. And I cannot drive, like, I can't go anywhere. Sure, people on the other side are stopping too, but some people are driving through this. I do not know how they're driving through this. I'm just asking that the Lord pass this storm over. God, please calm this storm. Lord Jesus, please calm this storm. God, oh my Lord, calm the storm, Jesus. Calm the storm, Lord. Calm the storm, Jesus. Calm the storm. Oh, God. Lord, I'm trying to get home. I'm trying to get to Fort Worth. Stop the storm, Jesus. Calm the storm down, Lord. Cease the storm. Cease the rain. Cease the wind. Cease the healing, Jesus. I know you can do it, God. Whew. Lord, calm the storm down. Calm the storm, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As soon as I text you, they had let me know that Granny had passed out, so I just dropped everything and got in the car. This week has been the craziest week of my life. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people know that. All right, y'all, I officially made it to the hood where it's good. Woo, Lord God, kept me all the way. Thankfully, Jesus. Hopefully I can get up in the morning and show y'all around my hood a little bit. Cause I don't think I did a full work like vlog for real, so. But yes, thank God I made it. I'm coming down the street. I'm going to check on my granny now, so. See y'all later. See y'all in the morning. See y'all next time I come over here. Goodbye. Made it to my granny's house, y'all. Gonna go in here. She's probably asleep, but I'm just gonna go in here and check on her real quick. My nephews and my niece should be in here too, so that's exciting. Ooh, thank you, Lord God. I didn't know if I was gonna make it, y'all. I didn't know. Hello. Hey, can you open the door? Uh.